Hi Capricorn, I'm doing your September updated love messages. Um, Capricorn, meditation is really important for you this month. It's important to continue to meditate, to manifest, to bring what you need towards you. Uh, a lot of you are still contemplating about an old love, about an old flame. A lot of you are still wanting to reach out to someone, but you haven't either gotten the courage yet to do so, or you haven't wanted to make that decision. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but there is Capricorn's uh, a little bit of hesitation there. Maybe it's because you're not choosing to do what's needed to be done right now. Maybe you're not ready for that final commitment. Maybe you're not ready to say yes. Maybe... Your partner is not the one who's ready yet. Maybe they are making excuses. Maybe they are trying to um, make you feel that they're moving in the right direction and moving more toward commitment, relationships, engagements, marriages, whatever. However, I still feel hesitation there. I feel that somehow, excuse me, in their uh, mind, they are still holding on to their independence. They're not wanting to be in a committed relationship yet. Yet. Okay? Um, Capricorns understand there's um, going to be a lot of you that are going to be getting a lot of compliments, a lot of offers. There's also going to be um, a lot of options. I do feel like you are going to have to or your partner is going to have to make a decision. So either you have a lot of options or your partner does and a decision is going to need to be made. Okay, you can't hold out much longer. Somehow, some way, you're going to have to make a decision here because you in the past were completely destroyed by someone who had hurt you. Maybe this is the partner, Capricorns, maybe this is your partner from the past that hurt you and upset you and did things um, to you that made you feel unjustly, unjust things that were unjustified yet or unjustifiable in the situation. Somebody has really knocked you down and took pretty much the life out of you. And when they did that, you know, you were overwhelmed. You didn't know what to do at that point. Um... In the beginning, you were made to believe when that offer came in that it was a beautiful offer. It, you see how it's highlighted. You see how it's blessed. It's glowing gold. It's, it's, it's abundance of love. It's a lot of love. Somebody was gung-ho and full speed ahead in the beginning. Then when things got too serious, they got really nervous. Even though they still tried to offer you something. Okay, maybe they brought you flowers. Maybe the flowers were delivered to you. Maybe that was a step in the right direction in the beginning, but then later you found out about some toxic behaviors. This is either you or your partner. And, you know, with Capricorns, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, and Scorpio, if the one of those are your partners, then please know that this could be exactly who this person is with the addictions, with problems. Um, again, that could be Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, or Scorpio. So be aware of that. Somebody has addictions, issues. Maybe they lie on a regular basis. Maybe they cheat on a regular basis. Maybe they don't know how to be committed. Maybe they don't know what to do uh, to get things off the ground. Some of you weren't going to take it. Some of you got out real quick. Some of you couldn't get on that boat fast enough to get away. Okay? Didn't have to be a boat. Could have been a car. Could have just meant you turned your head and went into another direction. Could have just meant you didn't want to be around anymore for the bullshit. Okay, so some of you could have left. Or your partner who was involved with you, excuse me, who you thought everything was going very well and, and very smooth, all of a sudden got up and left. So this is somebody quickly getting away, quickly going away, quickly moving away, or quickly ending a situation. Okay, so what I pick up, and they ended it because they had many options. So was this you or was this them? But somebody had many options here, okay? Somebody had to make that choice because I got the lever's card reversed. But that reverse means things aren't the way they should be. In a relationship, right now, you are unbalanced. Right now, you are apart. This is telling me that somebody is not together with their partner. Although they want to be, they are not together with their partner. It could have been after you were just laying down together. You were just in bed together. Maybe things were intimate. Then your partner, the next morning, the next night, maybe that night they got up, dressed, and left. Haven't heard from them since. They blocked you on all social media. They blocked your phone number. They blocked your emails. You can't, you can't get through. You just can't get through. So right now you're standing. Maybe you're outside. Maybe every time you go somewhere, you're looking around. You're looking around, seeing if they're around. 
You're standing your ground. You're wondering, are they coming back? You're looking for them. You're looking. Are, are they coming? And you're waiting, but nothing. Nothing's happening. Later you find out through someone they left to go with somebody else. That was their plan the whole time. That was their plan the whole time. They had somebody still sitting on the back burner. Somebody was waiting on them. So they ghosted someone for a while, spent a lot of time with you, then ghosted you, and now back to them. But they'll be back. They'll be back. And with the other person, the good news is, Capricorn, is that the other person is going to experience the ten. Things are going to end for them. But they will find new beginnings, which is good, because they won't worry about your partner then. And for you in the past, you've had to deal with this ten. You've had to deal with endings, but you also now are involved with this new beginning. But at the time, somebody wasn't willing to put the work in. But now, now you or your partner is definitely willing to put the work in. Somebody is willing to go ahead and do that and put the work in here. A lot of you will experience better things coming. There are much better things coming. Things are going to be very positive for you. Blessings and, and things of that nature are coming towards you. Everything that's favorable, everything that is innocent. You are going to um, experience things uh, that are um, unplanned, uh, spontaneous, innocent, um, genuine, pure. So you are going to hear from somebody about love. It is going to be... Um, a pure thing, an honest thing, a real thing. So somebody is going to make you a beautiful offer. You are going to have new growth, new beginnings. So that's either going to be with this past partner who is going to return, or it is going to be with somebody new. Oh, excuse me, my 24-hour Zyrtec is not working. So there is new growths, there is new beginnings, new opportunities, meaning somebody is yet getting another chance. Somebody is going to make a decision. Somebody is finally going to make a choice, not have options, but they are going to make a choice. You are going to have messages coming in very quickly, very quickly, okay? Messages back and forth. That's going to come. They will sooner or later unblock you, not that far away. They will unblock you from where they've blocked you out of. Somebody is going to come back and hold on to you. Somebody this time does not want to let you go. There is going to be a benefit here. There is going to be a future coming. Okay. For some of you, unfortunately, you're the one holding on. Okay. But your partner has left and they are not returning. For some of you, your partner has left and is not returning. But you're not accepting that yet. You still feel that you can communicate with them or get some kind of results from them, get them to come back. But if you do, if you do, which is very, very weak possibility, but if you do, there may be a few of you that do, but they're going to do the third party thing again. They're going to cheat, they're going to lie, and they're going to betray you. So be careful. Be very careful, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Blessings are not right now. Divine timing is going to have things lined up. But until they make that choice, until they make that decision, you don't know what's going to happen. You're going to have to sit there and wait patiently. But like I said, to bring somebody back, sitting and waiting won't work. You need to move. You need to create energy. You need to create changes. Then you can take a look at things that you do have. Appreciate them. Okay? Enjoy all the options that are behind you and focus on the one true person that you want to be with because that is coming. That is definitely coming. Somebody is going to come in and make an offer to you. Somebody is going to put down their baggage, leave the baggage behind. They are going to turn around. Okay, so right now they're facing the other way. Somebody's in denial. Somebody is blocking you and all that, like I said. But this person is going to turn around and stop focusing on the negative, and they're going to focus on the positive. Could be a water sign. Could be an air sign. Could be an earth sign. Okay, but... Please be known that some of you have a partner still pulling a bullshit, still with that narcissistic tendency, still lying, still betraying you, using you, borrowing money from you. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. They go spending their money doing whatever they want to do with who they want to do it, and then when they run out, they come and borrow money from you? But they didn't include you in their plans before? You have people around that are seeing what's going on. That's what this card's showing you. Other people are seeing what's going on, but you're not seeing the whole picture. You're seeing only what you want to see in a situation. You're going to get disappointed. 
you're going to have troubles. You're going to you're going to end up. It's going to be the death card. It's going to be the end of a situation if you don't catch it right away. You need to catch it, okay? So take your time. Think about what's happening. Don't get so anxious. Lay down. Think about what's happening. Meditate. Manifest all the good things. Ask God, the universe, the angels, whoever, to bring clarity to you about a situation. Ask for the clarity to be shown to you so that you are able to make the decision. Okay, based on the bullshit, the lies, the deception that's going on so that you can make that decision. You are the only one who can take control of your situation, who can guard yourself, your heart, your property. You're the only one who can do that. Messages are going to come in quick. They are going to come in quick. Somebody is going to make an offer to you. That is the truth. But somebody is still holding on to options. They definitely are. And while they're holding on to options, you're waiting. You're waiting for them to make that decision. You're going to sit there and, and do that until judgment gets passed. Once judgment gets passed, you will then have a celebration. You will then have a celebration because then you're willing to do the work. Some of you are going to have endings. Like I said, you're going to have endings, but you're also going to have new beginnings. You're going to have endings due to the third-party situation that went on. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you'll have the lover's card upright. That's what's going to come. Then you're going to have a celebration. So... Please be aware, this reading is just for you. There is a celebration going to come. Somebody is going to definitely make something stable. They are going to plant something very strongly into the ground. They are no longer going to keep the options that they had and the secrets that they had. Things are going to be revealed, okay? This is when they're not revealed. Things are going to be revealed. Trust me. Somebody's going to make an offer to you, and it's going to look pretty good for some of you. It's going to be a beautiful offer. For some of you, some of you are still going to be in the dark. Maybe your partner's going to be in the dark. Maybe they're going to be creeping around, sneaking around, going from one place to another, one person's bed to another person's bed, not letting you know what they're doing. So they're either going with you and then sneaking with somebody else. I'm not sure. Somebody's taking a chance, okay? But their chance is not good because they're not, this risk is not worth taking because they're not balanced. They're not on level ground. It's not stable. Somebody is going to play the fool in a situation because the third party is going to happen again. And then you're going to be up at night all upset in your head. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do about that? Okay? So take the time because you don't want to have You don't want that to happen. You want to be able to get on your horse and get out of there and keep the options that you have left because you're not going to invest everything in that. Whether you're dealing with a Sagittarius, a water sign, or an air sign, you decide. But for you, mainly, there is going to be new growth, new opportunity. I feel like for a lot of you, it is somebody new. For some of you, you are going to have the, the X return. You will be sitting unexpectedly getting this information or message, okay? The person that left you out in the cold, okay, is going to try to come back. So be aware of that, okay? Look at what you have before you go giving it away. Be sure that you want to share what you have and make sure that the person that is coming towards you also wants to share it with you. If they do, you will get this, okay? This will be your card. Your cup will runneth over with happiness, with joy, with stability, with love, with intimacy, with all kind of things. So, until later, this is covering you, as I said, from September 13th to the end of the month.